Hi, welcome to another mentoring moment. And we're in a series called The Power Principles of Life. They all begin with the letter P. And today we're going to speak about the power of pain. Um, pain is an interesting thing because um, we need to feel pain in order to survive in this world. Um, I remember when I was a kid uh, growing up, I heard of a person who was born with no nerve endings and they had no ability to feel pain. And you think, oh, that's wonderful. You don't have any pain in your life. However, this person was just covered with, with cuts, with bruises. They would put their hand on a stove and it burned them. And they, never, they couldn't feel the pain. So they had no response mechanism. They had no way to overcome or to even respond to what was happening in injury to their body because the pain wasn't there to prevent it. And pain is something which is it's, uh, universal to our human experience, but there are different kinds of pain. But pain is something which God uses. Um, I'll say this pain is given there to warn us. Something's, something's touching you, something's hurting you, something is coming against you. Um, so pain is a warning to us. It's, uh, it's given to protect us. So, you know, that we, if we sense pain, we move away from it so that we are, there's a protection side of it. And the most important thing is that pain gets our attention. And God uses pain. There's a tremendous power in pain that uh, God uses pain to get our attention. And sometimes it causes us, if we are you know, going the wrong direction and we face pain, we sometimes will change and we will look up and we'll begin to seek God to uh, give us uh, strength, help, wisdom. And pain gets the attention of us so that we turn our hearts towards God. Now, um, I'm going to just look at some scripture and just give you some basis that um, about Jesus, because Jesus did not shy away from pain. He did not shy away from the from the cross. He didn't shy away from the beating. He didn't shy away from anything. He went through pain, and this is what the Bible says. It says in Hebrews uh, five verses seven. It says that uh, Jesus learned obedience through pain. All right. So this was a part of the process of even Jesus coming to that place of utter obedience was through pain. It says this in the day who in the days of his flesh in first uh, Hebrews 5, 7, um, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with vehement cries and tears to him who was able to save him from death and was heard because of his godly fear, though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. And having been perfected, he became the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him. Jesus learned to obey through the painful things. He went through a 40-day fast. He learned hunger. He learned, he learned how to discipline his body. He learned how to discipline his mind, his, his heart, every part of his being. And he went through suffering and he went through pain in order to be the author of salvation to us so that we uh, have a we have a pattern to follow and that that pain is something that we uh, need to be aware of and we need to we be sensitive to it and we need to be uh, allow God to use pain in our lives so that's the first thing he learned obedience through suffering and he learned obedience through pain and then when we've been through pain um, we're able to help other people because if we've suffered and we've been through it painful, maybe lost a loved one or uh, gone through something, some of our most powerful recordings in the ISOM have been uh, people like Cheryl Salem, who, you know, she lost a five-year-old to a brain tumor. And, um, you know, she had an incredible experience, and incredibly painful. Then she got cancer and then she wanted to die and she just was ready to give up on everything. And she was going into the operating room and she was caught out of her body and she had this in incredible heavenly experience face to face with Christ and Jesus then spoke into her situation and then God sent her back healed her and she came through this and God healed her family and healed her body um, and through that that series when she teaches and she shares on the loss of a five-year-old to a, uh, you know a brain tumor I mean there is such an encouragement because she's been through something and through that pain she's able to help other people and this is what the Bible says that uh, in Hebrews 2:18 for in that he himself has suffered being tempted he's able to aid those who are tempted and this is a principle in Scripture. When you've been through something, you can help others, uh, whether it's temptation, whether it's through suffering, whether it's through pain, whatever you've been through, you can help somebody else and you've overcome it. You can help them. And then finally, you know, the Bible says that, you know, God perfects us through pain. That pain causes us to seek Him. And when we are suffering, whether it's a physical ailment or whatever it is, 
it gets our attention, it brings us into alignment, and it perfects us. And, you know, it can be external suffering, and the greatest suffering we can ever go through is if we're suffering for the name of Christ, and we're being persecuted or beaten or and somehow suffering abuse just because we are belonging to Jesus and because we are standing for Him in the world. So pain is a very, very important uh, part of the perfection process. And this is what... Uh, um, you know, I'll just read it from First Peter chapter 2. For to this you were called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you follow in his steps. And then it says in First Peter 5.10, But may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you suffered for a while, or suffered a while, perfect, st- establish, strengthen, and settle you. And that's what God's objective, that when we go through pain, that God will use it to settle us, to stabilize us, to, to have us trust even more deeply in God. No matter what we face, no matter what we come against or comes against us, that we put that faith firmly and strongly and it perfects our faith. So it's a fiery trial. It's difficult. It's painful. The discipline of God is painful, but out of it comes the righteousness of God. Out of it comes perfection. Out of it comes a purification of everything in our lives. And if we ever get to suffer for him, that's the ultimate benefit and blessing. Uh, We rejoice when we get to suffer for his name. So I hope you get something out of the power of pain. Uh, God can use it for his glory and for his good. And it is a way that God uses to get our attention and perfect our lives. So until next week, God bless you.